One of the things I've been working on lately is the ability to embed the console program into um, the Mac version of MarkEdit. Um, this is an example of kind of the proof of concept of how that's going to work with the next update. Uh, for the purposes of doing this in the uh, uh, console version, um, because the uh, way that um, C Sharp applications are bundled into a, a Mac application, um, it's probably going to be best if you set up an environmental variable um, to point to the location of the uh, Mark Edit executable. Um, I'm just assuming most people who are going to be doing this uh, will have done that. I've set one up. Um, let me show you the location here. Um, so I've set up an environmental variable for uh, the path. Um, you'll see that uh, this is my path. This isn't what most folks will have. Most of these will go to the applications directory. This just happens to be where I've, I've put it. Um, but essentially, you're going to point through um, the app uh, uh, bundle, uh, which is an application bundle in a Mac, um, to the contents and then Mac OS. And the command um, uh, that you actually run is going to be just mark edit. Uh, there's two modes that you can run it in. Um, one is uh, as a uh, console application where you're going to enter in the paths um, uh, through a uh, console version that will ask you questions. Um, so if I run without uh, adding a um, source or a destination, and tell it I want to run it in console mode, then what will happen is MarkEdit will generate a, uh, a virtual um, console application that will then ask me to um, walk my way through um, the giving it a source and uh, giving it a uh, destination. Um, the version numbers will probably change, so in this case I can give it a source. destination and then the type of operation so I'm going to break and then it'll process it and finish and the application is done. Um, you can also run it as a traditional console application um, by passing uh, just parameters so um, if you're familiar with mark edit um, you'll notice that uh, um, you can pass it uh, the uh, help command and that will um, give you a list of all the potential console um, uh, uh, topics. Um, there's one in here that I haven't tested well. Um, in the Windows version you can run tasks from the console application. Um, there's some ways that that happens on a Windows machine to pass data back and forth. I'm not quite, it, it doesn't work the same way on a Mac, so I need to make sure that that's connected. So in the initial version of the console version of the Mac, it may not work. Um, but, uh, so you can run help um, to see the list, um, and then once I have my list, I can actually run um, directly against uh, uh, files, kind of the same way I did before, but without having to go through the process of generating and asking for files directly. Um, by uh, filling in the parameters. Um, so in this case, the source parameter. Uh, destination parameter. And then the type of uh, operation is a breaking operation and I can go ahead and pass the parameters and you'll see that it goes ahead and runs and, and does what it did before. Um, so I'm assuming that's probably how most people use it. Um, at this point uh, it looks like you have to include full path names although um, that should be something I can just tweak inside the application so it pulls the um, uh, current uh, directory. Uh, if a path name isn't specified, um, but I haven't done that yet. On Windows, it happens automatically. Apparently, it doesn't in the uh, 
the um, the language that I'm working with in Mac. So anyways, uh, it's kind of a proof of concept of how this works. Uh, this should be available um, in the next uh, Mac update for folks who have been um, asking specifically for this particular function.